So welcome to this YouTube preview this Friday. Of course, it, it wasn't a great week last week, was it? Um, but it's Chelsea coming up. And this morning, Eddie Howe has had his press conference. So here's what he had to say. So Eddie was in slightly later this morning at uh, 20 past nine. But firstly, team news. Uh, Nathan Ake has trained this week. He should be OK for the match tomorrow. Uh, Jefferson Lerma, similar, um, and has come through a couple of days training. So hopefully we'll have that spine of the team restored. That's what we're expecting anyway. Obviously, it's been good news announced in the week with regards to David Brooks. Eddie says he's had another good week. Chris Mepham and Lloyd Kelly and Arnau Danjuma now all running on grass as well, improving quite quickly. He says he's hopeful of the latter three returning to training next week or the week after. There are hints, you know, that Brooks could be on the bench against Chelsea. That would be amazing. Now, of course, last week at Burnley, VAR. Huge issue. And Eddie said, we've had dialogue with the authorities to try and understand the decisions. He says you have to seek answers just to get a better understanding on the process. And he still says it feels a very grey area. But he went on to say, our mindset has to be focused in the moment and preparing for Chelsea. He says that he feels offsides have improved the game this season, but it's consistent for both teams and through the season. But, you know, the other situations, there have been some bad decisions and he would like to trust the on-field referee a little bit more. Now, of course, we shipped three goals at Burnley, and our defensive split, uh, display was maybe overshadowed by VAR somewhat, but Eddie said at 2-0, once the penalty goes in, I don't think that should happen, but we were mentally lost. I have sympathy with the players. There was time in the game to come back. Uh, he says it's something that they need to look at. Now, of course, uh, we beat Chelsea on their own turf, in December and Eddie said about that game everybody to a man performed we needed to show some fight but they are key in any game we can't look at this match as a bonus game it's one we have to try and win let's give everything we can to get points and achieve our season objectives in terms of the atmosphere at the last two home games Eddie Sar said we thoroughly enjoyed the last two games the crowd were excellent says we're brilliant against Brighton and Villa. We need them now more than ever before. So that is Eddie from this morning. A lot of our talk, but the, the message at the end, huge. Let's get behind the boys on Saturday. So as you can see, I'm uh, joined by uh, Mr. Jeff Hayward. <laughs> Jeff then, Chelsea, Chelsea at home. Back in the day, it would have maybe been one of those fixtures where we wouldn't expect to get anything but based on what happened last season uh despite that horrible match against Burnley let's forget it it's in the past um can we do it again I've got feeling we can push them um I'm hopeful that the players will use the injustice of what happened against Burnley as a motivational tool um certainly the way we played in that first half against Villa uh, if we put in that sort of performance, we will cause problems. Uh, and what are the weaknesses of Chelsea? Defensively, they're not all that. They're not very good at defending set pieces, which is one of our strengths. And uh, they're playing with uh, Giroud as their main striker now um, because Abraham and Batshuayi, well, Abraham was injured and Batshuayi couldn't hit a barn door if you uh, <laughs> if you presented <laughs> it with the ball two yards away from one. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's going to be other things on their mind. They are not going to be completely fresh for it. No, that's it. Um, I, I weirdly, I think I, I'm feeling quite positive about it, only because um, we. I think there was a league table of the other 14, and Bournemouth were third or fourth in terms of the teams that have got the most points from uh, playing the top six clubs. I mean, there there are a variety of fixtures coming up where um, you know Bournemouth could maybe look a bit more positive. I mean, so yeah, Chelsea, um, and then after that, it's Liverpool away, which let's face it, I, you know, no one's expecting anything. But there, there's always these little news stories that come about where you think, oh, but maybe like Son, uh, sorry, not Son, Spurs, we'll talk about that later. Henderson's out for Liverpool. Um, and I, I know with Liverpool, it's, you know, it's just a case, well, if Henderson's out, we'll just stick in Wijnaldum or, you know, Fabinho or someone. Um, it's not a match where I'm sort of, yeah, I mean, we've got nothing to lose, basically, have we? 
nothing to lose in that one. It's going to be tough to get a result there, but uh, I mean, there, I mean, there are going to be teams that we like that we're playing that have got you know like other ambitions, let's say, uh, including Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, you know, teams that are safe, um, teams that are maybe guaranteed. Yeah, you know, like European football, playing teams like you know Liverpool, Spurs, as I sort of briefly alluded to, where you know Son is going to be out. Hopefully, I mean it's going to be a couple of months apparently. So whether that will stretch to late uh, to late April, I don't know. Um, playing Manchester United at Old Trafford, you know, whilst these look really threatening fixtures, part of me just thinks we could, you know, we could get results in some of these. Yeah, and look, uh, look at the team we've just played. What have Burnley just gone and done? They beat United at Old Trafford. Exactly. They yeah. beat Leicester at home. We've still got Leicester at home. You know, mm. Leicester having a little bit of a wobble. Now Vardy stopped scoring. Uh, Spurs, you're right. Son is going to be a big miss for them. Kane will be out. Looks like um, Mourinho's gone full metal jacket with the haircut, so he's losing it. <laughs> and I, exactly and, right. uh, and I, I, I think all those things play into, OK, we've got chances. Um, also, it's coming to the business end of the season. They're all going to have FA Cup. Champions League, big games coming up midweek that are going to interfere with their preparations for the games against Little Old Bournemouth. Liverpool have to lose this season once in the Premier League. Why not to us? Well, that certainly would be nice, Jeff. Right then, team lineups. This is what we're thinking ahead of tomorrow. This is based on the team news that Eddie said. Plus, there's room for a bit of manoeuvre, but um, hear us out here. Now, obviously, Ramsdale in goal. I've got a feeling it's not going to be that 4-4-2. We'll go with the 4-5-1 stroke 4-3-3 hybrid that can enable both the wingers to join Callum up front in order to be a potent attack when we are attacking, but then they can drop back in. But defensively, there are some questions that could be asked. I mean, Frano got turned inside out a couple of times by Vidra, slid in way too quick, I thought, uh, on a couple of occasions, one of which led to a goal, the other of which Ramsdale saved his bacon. So I'd like to see Steve Cook come back in, if possible. Um, and then you've got the kind of Rico dilemma, really, because Jack Stacey, I thought, you know, he did really well. He got up the pitch into quite, um, you know, attacking circumstances. And uh, he's a player that's really impressed me when he does attack. He reminds me of a young Simon Francis, to be fair. So I think it'd be harsh for him to lose his, his place. And, you know, Smith on the other side did quite well. So I think the only question is, will this be Rico or will this be Smith? Um, Rico, I think, missed out against Burnley um, because, well, last time we played him, not the last time, the VAR time, the time before that, he got done quite badly. But I think his left foot could be an absolute weapon in this fixture. And do you remember against Man United at home? Um, Man United specifically targeted Rico and he, and he stood up to the task every time. Um, I'm thinking that, you know, he could be ideal in that position. He's showed strength. He likes to get forward now as well. Um, so, yeah, that that's what I'm thinking. But, oh, who knows? It's a bit of a lottery, isn't it? Now, three across the middle. I think it's going to be these three. Maybe Gosling sitting a little bit deeper. Um, Lerma's still got that threat of a yellow card, I think. So those three... Probably about right. But Andrew Sermon, you know, didn't exactly do badly last week. So uh, it could be a curveball that Eddie would throw in to put Sermon on. But, oh, I don't quite know against the talent that they've got in the middle. Um, you need that hustler and bustler. And, you, yeah, you got Jefferson in there. But to have Dan Gosling as well would be really good. Plus, he's that box-to-box -box midfielder if we need him. And then, obviously, Josh King, I think, has got to start. And... He's played wide against Chelsea before and he's decimated them. Um, so I think he could be on one side and Fraser on the other. But, you know, it could be the other way around. But then you kind of think Harry Wilson, um, one of our biggest goal threats. I don't know. I've got a feeling he may miss out. Um, when Bayern played Chelsea, um, they absolutely killed him down the wings. And Eddie Howe will have watched that and realised that is where they are uh, defensively not too good. Um, Harry Wilson's not really known for those attacking driving runs down the wing. Um, he sort of cuts in a lot. 
Um, so I'd like to see Fraser and King. Whichever side it works out, they play probably the other way around. Um, that's, I think, how it would be. And then you've got Callum up front. So what this means is that um, if we are sort of needing to defend Fraser, who's got defensive experience, King less so, but they can all come back and, you know, form a good shape. Whereas when we're attacking, of course, we'll have those up there. But that, you know, that's what we're thinking at this stage. But, you know, Eddie, he's probably going to chuck in something that we least expect. Maybe even Lewis Cook. It's going to be an interesting one. All will be revealed at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Jeff, uh, thank you once again for appearing on this video preview. Certainly appreciate uh, your input once again. Cheers, Sam. Been, and, uh, uh, it's been fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always fun, despite the results, you know, etc. Like it's hard to talk about it after a loss, but um, yeah. If you've got any thoughts, uh, leave your predictions in the comments below. Let us know what team you think will be starting as well. Uh, we'll see you outside the stadium tomorrow. So um, yeah, see you very soon, and up the cherries. Up the cherries.